The lovely people at Digital Photo have just sent me something really cool. It is the V360 Pro. It's a really cool camera rig and it does this. It's pretty cool, right? So the Digital Photo V360 Pro is a camera rig that enables you to get these really cool dynamic shots. You have this center plate here where you can stand on or you can place some products. You have a counterweight on one side, you have this bar here for your camera. And once you place the camera on, you just spin this around and that's gonna get you these really cool shots. So now I've got the camera mounted onto the rig and in order to activate this, you just need to push it. So I'm just gonna give it a push and away it goes. Now, this rig is not motored. There's no batteries in this. It is all completely manual. So if I was to compare this to a glide cam or a gimbal, this would be more of a glide cam because it's manual. There's no automation here. There's no batteries. It's all just completely mechanical, which personally I really like because you can use it in all weather. You don't have to worry about batteries getting wet and you can just film in whatever situations you like. So that's really good. Now I can think of a few really great cases where this would look really interesting. I think a music video using this effect would look brilliant. The camera is spinning around the artist as they're singing, performing up. That would look great. Maybe at a wedding in the evening, you can find a nice corner. You can have this thing spinning around and the evening guests could be doing their best moves. And this could be used to create a really dynamic section of a wedding film. Or rather than using this to its full effect, you could just use it to create these really subtle, but really dynamic movements around a person. So when you're creating hero shots, you can have the person looking at the camera. The camera can just gently sway in a direction like this and then we'd cut there. So rather than doing the full dynamic camera spin, we're just interested in this section here. The build quality is completely fine if you're using a lightweight camera. There is no way you are going to be able to strap a RED or a Sony FS7 or a cinema camera onto this thing. As you can see, the pole that the camera attaches to is quite thin. It doesn't feel extremely strong, but if you have something like a Sony A7S Mark III, you'll be completely fine. This is the platform that you can stand on and you've got this metal bar underneath the platform. So if we just take this platform off, you can see we've got this metal pole here and this is the device. And what I notice really quickly is this is really high quality. There's no resistance here. There's no grinding. It's not skipping or jumping. This is very smooth, which means you don't have to worry about your camera bumping around. You're always going to get really smooth shots with this. Now, I know for a fact that the platform can take at least 150 kilograms. Now, that was something that I saw on social media. In the document that came with this package, it did say 200 kilograms. So I would err on the side of caution and go with 150 kilograms. It does feel really sturdy though. The plate is solid metal and I would be very surprised if it couldn't take that higher number. So 200 kilograms. Now this thing does collapse, so it can break down and you can build it back up again. So it is very easy to travel with. You could put this all into a bag, throw it in your car and it's really easy to transport. But the problem is, when you're tightening things up, you don't have the option to use a twist knob. You have to use a Allen key to tighten up a screw. And if you were like me and you were constantly losing Allen keys, like I've lost the Allen key for this already, if I wanted to change this or break this down, I couldn't because I need the Allen key. Fortunately, they do provide you with an Allen key in the box and that is great, but you do have to remember to bring it on to shoot because if you forget to bring the Allen key on to shoot and you need to tighten this all up, then unfortunately you're gonna have to try and find one to get this tightened up. Now this product is definitely advertised and designed as filming people. It's a full body camera spinning rig. And that's what this is going to achieve. You could sit down and get a really cool shot. You could stand up, get a really cool shot of the camera spinning around you. But I feel like this plate is also really good for product photography. So I feel like you could bring this down, you could lower this down, zoom the camera in, and you could get some really cool product shots. So in order to do that, I would just pull this in. So I bring this in closer and then I would angle it away. And then I would tilt this head towards the plate and I would get some really cool product shots like that. Now, when Digital Photo sent me this in the post, this was not the only thing. There was also one more bag. And in this bag, there is a background you get all of these poles and essentially you're going to build up this background and this background is going to live on this platform here. So you've got the camera on the one side and you've got this background on the other side. 
And that's why I've said it, it's really good for product videos because you could put a background over on this end, you could put your product on the plate in the middle and it will look like the product is spinning and you have a perfectly white background. Now, I am gonna build this, this might take me a moment or two, but I will build this to show you this in action. There we go, I've just built the frame. That didn't take too long. The only thing we've got left to do now is to add this background. So I've now got the background installed onto the rig. The camera is also on the rig. Let's give the camera a spin and let's see how this looks. I've got a feeling I am way too zoomed out. I feel like this needs to be much tighter in order to get a cool shot. So three, two, one, let's spin. Got a feeling that needed to be a lot tighter. So I've now zoomed in so that the shot is completely full. The background is filling up the shot. Let's have another spin and let's see how this effect looks. There we go. Did that work? Did that look good? I do have to admit, I think this background is a really good idea for close-ups of people or if you were capturing product videography. But I do think if you're looking for that really dramatic example of the camera spinning around somebody and you've got this really cool wide shot, I do think in that case, you would need something a lot bigger. But I do feel like having a bigger background on this wouldn't be safe and it would throw the entire balance of the rig off. Now, at the moment, all of the testing that I've done has been within my living room. It's a decent size, but it's not the biggest space in the world. So that means I can't fully extend the arm out horizontally. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the pole all the way out. I'm gonna lay it completely flat, angle it up to me standing in the middle. I'm gonna see how dynamic that will look. So that brings me onto the question of, would I recommend this rig if you were considering purchasing it? If you're considering purchasing it, then this is exactly what you were looking for. If you want that really cool effect of the camera spinning around somebody, then this is doing exactly that. But there are a few caveats when I do say that though. Now this background is a really good idea. I do like the fact that they've included the background, but I would only use that background for product videography and when I'm filming close-ups. But when I want that big dramatic shot, I'm gonna get rid of the background and I'll just pay close attention to the location that I'm filming in. You also need to pay close attention to the camera that you are filming with because if you have a big heavy camera, this is just not gonna be strong enough for those big heavy cameras. You want something like a mirrorless camera, a phone, a point and shoot, you want a smaller lightweight camera. But overall, I think this is a really good, really interesting product. It's definitely a very specific product. You're not gonna be dragging this out on every single video shoot. I'm fully aware of that. But if you are looking for a way to get really interesting dynamic shots on those few shoots where you feel like it would be appropriate, this thing is really cool. I just would say if you do consider purchasing this, consider allowing 10 to 15 minutes before filming to set this up. Because you can break it all down and throw it into the back of your car, it does mean you're gonna have to build it back up again. And because you don't have the adjustment knobs on the rig, it means you're gonna have to tighten everything with an Allen key. So give yourself 10 to 15 minutes to set this thing up and then make sure you're always carrying an Allen key whenever you are filming with this. But yes, if you are looking for really interesting dynamic shots, then the V360 Pro from Digital Photo is a really interesting product and I would definitely consider purchasing it. <laughs>